Hello, my name is Mark Pimentel. I'm a CAM application specialist here at Hawkridge Systems. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can master CAMWorks as a brand new user. So oftentimes in our industry, in the CNC shops, if you're going from one shop to another, you will see that they use different CAM software. And as a brand new programmer to that shop, you're going to have to adopt that software. What would be great is if the software helped you to learn it as quickly as possible. So we're going to see how CAMWorks does that for you. One of the things that makes CAMWorks easy to adopt is the fact that we're fully integrated inside SOLIDWORKS. So it gives you that familiar interface. You're already familiar with the icons, with the top-down, left-right structure. So because we're fully integrated in there, CAMWorks has that same sort of workflow, makes it easy to adopt at least the workflow of the icons. The work itself inside of CAMWorks is all controlled by that technology database. That's an internal database that has all kinds of different rules and recognizing functionality and algorithms to recognize your part. So geometry selection usually is the stumbling block for new users. In CAMWorks, the Geometry is recognized for you by that TechDB. It analyzes that 3D model, recognizes what features you might want to machine, adds operations to those features, and then selects the tools, the fees and speeds, which material you're working with, all kinds of information is collected from the model and then generates the operations from there. So it is literally just a one, two, three button flow uh, uh, to recognize your part and generate the toolpaths. And that is the built-in knowledge already present inside the software. But as you're going along, if you find that the automatic features that are added, the toolpaths that are added, the tools selected, if they're not exactly how you want them to be done, then it can be customized. The TechDB, the technology database, learns as you program and you can save features to it, you can save operations. All the parameters that you, you find that you're plugging in to modify the defaults, you can then change. And in changing them, they become your defaults. Going forward, the, the software will program your parts as you want them to be programmed. So let's see an example of that inside of CAMWorks. So if we're taking a look at that same model. You can see that I have a bunch of pockets and islands and all kinds of common uh, geometries on my part file here. We're fully integrated inside SOLIDWORKS. So you can see that I have the top-down features on the side here from SOLIDWORKS. Let's take a look at what you would do with CAMWORKS to get this part programmed. So I'm just going to go to my CAMWORKS feature tree and my CAMWORKS feature tab on the ribbon here so we can see all my icons from CAMWORKS. And again, fully integrated within the ribbon on the top there and the side menu. To get this started, I've just defined this as a simple three-axis machine. I've defined my stock as being on size on all the faces. And the coordinate system, I just have it in that bottom left corner. So very simple to start. All we're doing is just selecting stuff from the geometries. This is the sort of stuff you would cover in your basics training with us at Hawkridge. Or you'd be able to figure this out on your own as well, because the menus are very simple. But let's take a look at how the automatic feature recognition actually operates. Now that I've told it, which direction I want to come from. In this case, the Z direction pointed out there. And I have my stock defined. It'll know where the material is that I want to remove. Now I just need to go to the top left corner here and click on Extract Machinable Features. What this will do is it'll analyze that 3D model, take a look at all the solids on screen, all the different features of that solid, and then add the features. So from the TechDB, it recognizes that the certain shapes and certain open edges would generate these sort of features here. So I have a face feature on the top. I have this open pocket representing this face here going to the extents of the stock. You'll notice it also actually recognized that I have these islands that would interfere there. So it added them as islands and then it will machine around them. I have two pockets of similar size, so it would group them together. And if I just hover over these, you'll see that it hovers it, uh, it highlights it on the part, the holes and such. One of the other benefits of the automatic feature recognition is I didn't even realize that on my si second side, my second op, there's a pocket that needs to be removed. So it found that for me, as well as added that facing feature. So from these features, you'll notice in the brackets next to it, the strategies that are applied. What that actually is, is from the TechDB, it recognized that if I have a face feature, I probably want to do my finish strategy. That will call up a certain tool, a certain set of operations, and it'll generate those operations. Similar to the, to the rectangular pocket, it added a rough, a rest rough, and a finishing toolpath. So all I need to do now is just click on Generate Operation Plan. So once I've confirmed that the features were found correctly, 
I can just generate the operation plan. You'll notice that all those operations are added to the side there under my operation tab. And then from here, I can check them out, make sure everything's good. It's the proper tool that was selected, proper feeds and speeds, everything that was generated from the tech DB. If I like it, then I can save it. I can even sort them by tool. So then I can minimize tool selections, tool changes. But now if I'm ready, I can go to my third button. So again, one, two, three, you can see there's a third button here to generate the toolpath. And now it generates the toolpath. And I could take a look at that. If there's any gouges, I can do a simulation of it and I'm ready to go. And if there's anything I didn't like on here, I can always go back to the feature, right click on the feature, and then save that operation plan. That gives me the ability here to either switch what the default would have been, or maybe just give it a brand new name and save that as a default. So going forward, the way that this was programmed in this part file becomes the template, becomes the default set of parameters for any future operation automatically generated by the TechDB. If you like what you see here and you'd like to see more about how easy it is to adopt CamWorks as a brand new user, click on the link below in the description to attend the webinar. Thanks for watching.